Welcome. In front of me is an iPhone 7 and today I will show you how to hard reset the device without actually being forced to update it. Now this process will also remove a screen lock but it will not remove your iCloud. So if you are logged into your iCloud and you reset it, it will basically become in a way iCloud locked. So you have to unlock it using well, your provided or the given email and password that was previously set on there. But like I said, it will remove the passcode. Um, so to get started on the computer side, we will need to download a program. So you can go to our website as you can see right over here. So just to kind of go through it as I would go normally. Um, so you go to hard reset.info. You search for your iPhone. Now I'm using iPhone 7 for this, but this works basically for every iPhone. So yeah. So from here, let's choose our phone. Then go to frequently asked questions. And I'm looking for, what is it? Uh, how to remove passcode. There we go. So it's on the test position, how to, uh, how to, oh, no, that's not it. There we go, uh, 53. How to remove uh, passcode from Apple. So let's select that. And as you can see, we're now on the same page. So I'm just gonna close this off. So from here, you wanna start off by downloading the a program that we need right over here. You can just simply tap on it and save it whatever. I chose to save it to my desktop. As you can see, I already downloaded it and this is the, no, I'm just gonna remove this and do it again. It's gonna be easier, so there we go. So it unpacked right over here, so I can remove the zip and double click this. Now, Apple will automatically block it. So to combat this, just press on okay go to your settings, security and privacy, and you need to unlock it. So oop, now I have fingerprints, so that's what I'm gonna use. But no, in normal circumstances, you can also just insert your password. And once you unlock it, you can tap on open anyway, and run it. So I'm just gonna get rid of this because already opened it so from here obviously let's continue it's a typical installation uh, we can change the location of it but I won't really bother let's go to next um, let's go to use but can I actually do it without a password yep I can there we go so as you can see it installs and it's a fairly quick process it's already well installed so from here we need to go to our applications and look for the program. Oh, there it is. Uh, fix mate, so let's run it. And from here, let's get our cable and connect it to our computer. There we go. And as you can see, the program will immediately read the device, uh, gives you all the information about it. Um, it also gives me the iOS version. So as you can see right now, it's on 14.0.1. And just to put that in perspective, the newest version right now of iOS is, give me a second for it to load. Okay, there it is. Uh, iPhone software update, so 14.2. So I'm basically two versions behind almost, if not more. So you can also see it here, the newest version compared to the version that is installed. So this is just to, so you can see that it will not change the version. And uh, from here, let's go back to the program right over here and tap on erase device. Uh, are you sure you want to erase your device? Uh, this will permanently delete all device settings and data. Uh, now, if there's anything that you would like to keep, 
on your device uh, that is physically stored on it you might want to back it up um, otherwise like i said or like the notification says it will be completely removed um, so from here i'm just going to tap on yes to confirm it and it will begin the process and as you can see it gives me that device was successfully erased tap on ok So if I'm correct, this basically forces the device to be reset through settings as though you would be in the settings on the device itself, but you can do it just while the device is fully locked through your computer. So let's, now this will take a couple minutes, just be patient. Um, so yeah, I'll be back once the process is actually finished. And as you can see now the process is finished. So simply unplug it and you're done. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.